Okay, sir. We've no. I've, I've literally this is the first time I've ever interviewed someone that like I knew, like I've known, literally <laughs> known them their whole life. Um, so, Monty, why did you start Milltown Records? Uh, well, I originally started it just because I was kind of getting into graphic design, and I just wanted a place like a reason to have album covers that I had made. So the first one I made was Split Jaws, which was just kind of me messing around with the jaw harp for just kind of me and my friends joking. And I just wanted to make like the album covers for them. So that's really why it started. And then it just kind of went on from there to actually releasing like things that I think sounded good. Gotcha. Gotcha. And so what are some of the releases on it um, current currently? Right now, um, we're actually doing like a reformation right now, so a lot of our catalog is getting like wiped. Um, whoa, 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 whoa. you can't wipe FV Slim. I will, I will, I will, no, I, I will hunt same. you down. That was same, but like um, token shreds, uh, split jaws. Um, Wait a minute, token shreds is getting wiped. Yeah. Why? I just, I don't know. I don't think it's like kind of a great like look for people who I want to like from like yo check out this label that I have and then like a lot of the sounds are just not really kind of what I'm going for okay okay um, I can okay <laughs> so I'm looking at some local Denver bands gotcha uh, that would be right and so yeah, then yeah. would you put out like like are you just want to keep it to the area that you happen to be in or are you open to all over if you if people I'm saying you start getting a bunch of demos you'll listen right. to from where from wherever. Yeah, I'll listen to it, but um, I was, I'm kind of trying to keep it more like Western U.S. So, like, I guess Colorado would kind of be like the from Colorado to the West. And I now, and now, West. and now, why is that? I think I just don't like. I feel kind of like the music scene is very different from like East Coast. Uh, especially the hardcore scene. Um, Cause like right now, a lot of music's coming out like San Jose, like Cupertino area. Um, and I think that kind of spills over to the surrounding States, but I just don't really feel like that influence is there. And like New York, like um, East in the East. Do, do you kind of feel like East coast is sort of covered? And so, yeah, I think for a lot of it, especially with like bands like Pain of Truth, I think they're definitely and Combust or like big, uh, like New York hardcore bands. Mm -hmm. They they definitely have like a different sound than kind of what I would like to show. Gotcha. You know? Now, are you still doing a band? Um. Well, Youth and I is kind of broke up a little, like a little bit after their EP release due to some just personal issues um and then public defender form which i was originally doing vocals and drums in but that's kind of been on pause for because i went out to college mm -hmm. but we're hoping to have something recorded for the time i'm there is there any chance you're going to release worm um yeah i think worm will be a middle town client Worm is good, dude. Worm is really good. Like everything that I've heard, I'm like, like that is like a really good band. Right. Like, no, I'm. That's the thing. I'm a little bummed now. I haven't been able to see them play. Right. Every time that I've that they've put, like done a live performance, I've been in Denver. So, what's it like yeah. seeing your brother though? Like on stage, like I'm saying, he's like your little brother. You know what I mean? And yeah. he's like, 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 what's that like for you? Because he was playing bass and euthanized. What's mm -hmm. that? What's that? What's that like? So, I think a little bit of it is like, damn, I'm not like there to see him, and that kind of does bum me out. Mm -hmm. But I'm, I'm really happy that he's kind of like. I guess it's a little harder kind of becoming like your own person when there's like this other person that you kind of have similar interests with and you're always with him. Right. So I think it's, it's kind of a good thing to like let him flourish and he's doing his own thing. I think that's, that's really good for him. So I'm kind of proud of him for what he's doing. Well, it's interesting because I never knew Winston wanted to sing. Like I never mm -hmm. had any idea he had any desire to be in front, but like he really, it's the way he projects himself on stage is it's all, it, to right. me it looks like he's always wanted to kind of do that, but, but, but was, happy to play bass or or do something else in a band 
Right. Yeah, and that was another thing. I like I said, I'd never seen him play. Um and I I never really watched him practice because I also just kinda wanted that to be like his thing. So just kind of seeing videos of that was really, really cool to see. Uh, so yeah. how and and yours is gonna be a different story and leave nothing out. How do you get into hardcore? I know how you get into hardcore, but how like like how does that happen? Yeah, so my first, well, obviously, like, my dad had kind of played hardcore for me, like, growing up, but it was never really, like, cool to be listening to what your dad's listening to, so um, I think the first time that it really stuck with me, I wrote about, this was my, well, my college essay was about, um, it was about, like, this story, it was kind of, I think it was, like, the second day of high school, like, freshman year, and I just kind of, I think even at that point, I established that I wasn't really a big fan of school. So I was kind of bummed out. I wasn't really excited to go. And then I got in the car and he was playing uh, Think Again by Minor Threat. And I kind of, I thought I didn't even like it when I first heard it, but I had it stuck in my head. So I listened to it. And from that, I listened to the album. And then like the first two seven inches I listened to. And then from there, it just kind of grew from DC hardcore and getting into New York and old New York hardcore it has like that heavier sound. Like it's clearly different from like, let's say DC hardcore. So just kind of like, I was looking for more of that heavier sound. And then I made a blind record purchase off of Revelation for the the Drain album had like just come out. I, I didn't even know what it was. I thought the album cover was cool. And that was the only reason I bought it. Um, I had seen Drain play before they opened for Youth of Today. And I think that was my introduction into like modern hardcore. Gotcha. So, yeah. and so and so that brought you in because I remember we were sitting in your parents' car. You had your you had your headphones in or your yeah whatever they are earpods, and you were like, I remember like I heard, um, I want to say it was like the first song off the Uniform Choice record starting, and like I yeah, remember it was, uh, I remember it was No Thanks by Uniform Choice, and I remember just thinking to myself like. He legit likes this stuff. Like, it's not like, oh, hey, my dad got me into this and I'm just, you know, I'm, I'm going along to get along. Mm -hmm. Like, because I've, I've interviewed um, trainers before and fighters and whatnot. And a lot of times they tell you, like, well, why'd you get into this? Well, it was easier in my house to get into this because my dad was a boxer. And so if I fought, it was just easier. Otherwise, I'd be fighting with him all the time. And so I was really? like, dude, he's really, really into this. And so, like... What are your, like, like, are you a fan, I'm assuming you are, of, like, of, like, 90s, like, Orange County hardcore? Yeah, yeah, definitely. Um, yeah, because my, like I said, my introduction was, like, early to late 80s of, like, DC hardcore. And then, obviously, like, you get Black Flag in there, and that's kind of some, more Southern California. And then, I think Uniform Choice really did make that, like, like, that sound solidified. So, I was really hooked on uniform choice for quite a while what then, oh yeah oh no, no go, ahead, go ahead no i was gonna say what's it what was it like like when you first saw like your father on stage playing in chorus well the first time i really remember it like being the first time i remember being like oh this is something that like i might be interested in was at the i think it was the 30th uh new age fest oh okay That's, okay that was the first time like, I had seen him play, but obviously I wasn't, I was either like too young to understand it or I wasn't really interested in it. But I think that was definitely the first time where I was like, people are like, like, this is a thing that I want to, that I'm interested in. And that was crazy. It was just like, I don't, like I would tell people, oh, my dad's Jeff Banks. Maybe like, your dad is Jeff Banks. <laughs> I remember I worked at a Revelation for like a month. Oh, um, oh, I remember. <laughs> yeah. And then I told them, I was like, oh, yeah, my dad played this band. And then they're like, oh, we have this record. And, like, they were showing me the record and stuff. So, yeah, I think it's cool just kind of seeing, like, like kind of being able to say, like, hey, this is my dad. And then they're like, your dad's, like, a legend. Well, and so. I'm saying there's, like, a poster of your dad, like, like playing guitar. Yeah. Like, like, I mean, I didn't know what that, you know, my dad did stuff. My dad wasn't doing that. So... <laughs> That yeah, so it, it's 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 cool. I I like to say like I've just met like random like straight edge kids. They'd be like, "Oh, you gotta listen to this band like Chorus." I'll be like, "Oh, I know Chorus." <laughs> like, 